Hi, I'm Beth. I'm Leah. And we are from Great River Shakespeare Festival. And we're here to share some stories inspired by the great art at the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. Great art inspired by water. Is that right? That's totally right. We are going to tell you some stories that we imagined based on these paintings. Because you know what? We are not art experts. Not art experts. <laughs> like art. <laughs> Let's look at art. The first piece is Arctic Sunset with Rainbow by William Bradford, 1877, Oil on Canvas. I mean, obviously this is about that magical time that William Bradford ventured to the Arctic and met a leprechaun. Is that him in the boat? It's him in the boat. Oh, so William Bradford and a leprechaun in the boat. He rescued him because the leprechaun was so cold. Right. It's terrible. Wait, was he, the leprechaun, holding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Treading water. Treading water he in must the Arctic. He was so tired. So tired and so... I could only so... tread water for like 30 seconds. He was super fit. It was, it was really something. He had calves like you've never seen, that leprechaun. So that's what this painting's about. The next painting is by Henri Matisse, yeah. interior in Nice, woman sitting with a book, 1919 oil on canvas. This is definitely a woman in quarantine. She has that middle distance stare that we've all perfected. She's reading some book that she doesn't even, she doesn't even know. She just like blindly like reached from the shelf and just like opened it up thinking, oh, I'm gonna fulfill all of my quarantine goals. I'm gonna learn French and I'm gonna play the piano and I'm gonna read all those books on my shelf that I never read. And then she's just opened the book, but really she's just staring because she has no idea what's going to happen in the future. And it's like super dark and she's really worried, but she's also just trying to stay calm, but she's looking inwards because she's trying to meditate and use this time to like, you know, like search her soul and stuff and like let go of all the like external things in the world, like, you know, pressures and times and schedules and stuff, but it's really hard. Next painting. So this one is Alfred Stevens, the villa on the cliffs of Saint Adresse. Oh, you said that so well. Thank you. 1884, oil on panel. Oh. Yeah. On panel. Fancy. Not on canvas. No, no, no. On panel. Panel. Oh, this, this is, is a, a painting about a dog. Yeah, what a great little dog. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. Oh, he's just had a wash and he's, he's had a brush. And he's all like fluffy. Yeah. And he's out air drying his hair on the beachfront with all of these people dressed in like finery. What's he looking at? If you look into Cabana Bar, you can't see her. She's not oh. in the painting, but there's a woman with pork chops and he can mm -hmm. smell them mm -hmm. and he just mm -hmm. wants them. He's going to leap in midair. He's going to... I'll grab that pork chop in his little doggy jaws. Nom, 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 nom. There's people here, but really this is depending about the dog and his single-minded focus on the pork chop. Good on you, buddy. Good on you, buddy. Portrait of George Bridges Rodney, first Lord Rodney, 1782. Thomas Gainsborough, Oil on Canvas. Well, he's a confident white man and he knows everything. He knows where everything is. He's pointing at all of it. Yeah. What's in the background though? I see crosses. Is he standing right next to a graveyard? And it's got like foggy mist stuff. I think he actually might be a creature of the night. Maybe he's a vampire. I, I come to suck your, your blood. blood. First Lord of Rodney, Creature, creature of, of the, the Night. night. Speak French to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Jean-Francois Millet, oh, peasant mm. spreading manure. 1851, oil on canvas. Look at this handsome gentleman spreading manure. He's lead shoveler. He's shoveler the first. First lord of manure. That's the title you want. <laughs> this is the day that he realizes that he is more than a mere manure spreader. He, he spreads the manure with with like an artistry that has never before been seen. He's going to stride off into that golden sunset. Wait, he's not just going to spread manure no, for the no, rest no. of his days? But if he was, that wouldn't be a bad thing. 
He's going to stride off with his giant wagon filled with manure. But he's going to do this with a sound track. He's going to have music behind him. Uh, because yeah. you know, guys with their shirts unbuttoned and like sweat glistening on their brow, mm, they like get a sound track. Yeah, totally. So he's going to live his best life from now on because he has uh, earned it. Do you want to read the, the title of this one? Oh, is it in, in... It's not French. Okay, good. I can do that. If it was in French, then no. Edmund... <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you should. <laughs> okay. Sandy Hook Lighthouse. Edward Moran. 1876 Oil on Canvas. I really like the beachfront property that they have there. Excellent views. There may be issues with erosion, but apart from that, you really could take a nice long walk on the beach. You know, and that's what living on the beach is all about. It's about that outdoor lifestyle. This is an exciting moment that this painting captures, right? Because there's this fellow coming mm. ashore mm. from the boat in the distance. Oh, is this him? This is him. This could be it. This could be her moment. Wait, so it's love at first sight? I totally love at first oh, sight. Oh, that's nice. There's going to be bird song from the seagulls. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. And the one. Yeah. Hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're going to fall in love. Oh, that's so romantic. And they're going to live happily ever after because when there are towers involved, like the lighthouse, people live happily ever after. That's like a rule. This next painting is by Maurice Pendergrast, Twilight, parentheses, Crepuscule, close parentheses, 1918 to 1923, oil on canvas. And so this is like a bachelorette party with a bunch of people, ladies. ladies, who have no faces. Oh, that's creepy. Is that a knight in shining armor on the horse or is that just a guy on a horse? <laughs> it sort of plays into that old stereotype though. They don't need a knight in shining armor. Maybe he's in the background because they're like totally ignoring him and like, Lady power. Because they're just going to make their party happen. Yeah, this is going to be a good party. This is going to be a good party. This is going to be a good future. They're going to be a good presence. Yeah. Do they have a registry? I think they do. I it's mean, a, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's yeah. where you, how you get stuff when you yeah. get married. So all these ladies have shown up in their finery, and they're just going to dance, dance, dance into the night. Mm. So this one is by one of my personal favorite painters, Marie Cassatt. Francoise in a round back chair reading 1908 oil on canvas. Major question here, Beth is what is Francoise reading? What's she reading, Beth? What's she reading? The Chronicles of Narnia. Good book. Good book, right? Great Love book, that right? book! Yeah. I like that dress too. It's really pretty. It's a nice purple. So this one is A. Wadsworth Thompson. Well done with a no first name. I need that. Can I, I need to look in a cool initial before my first name. Z. Z. Leah Gabriel. Yeah. I like it. A Midsummer's Day on Long Island. Long Island. <laughs> 1876 oil on canvas. And they all got on the, on the jitney and they rode out of Manhattan to the beach and they put on their, all their finery. It's basically the same today. Nothing's really changed. Apart from the fact that they're all very fully clothed and it's probably quite hot, so they are pretty sweaty. You know, that's why it's a painting and not like a uh, smell of vision hmm. This next painting is from Edward Mitchell Bannister. It is a Rhode Island afternoon, 1898, oil on canvas. Sunday in the park with cows. No. Well, Beth, that was an incredible journey through some wonderful paintings at the Marine Art Museum in Winona. Unfortunately, you can't go there right now, but soon you must, whenever they reopen, you must go there and see these paintings and learn the real history and beauty of these beautiful images. Because we are not art experts. Not art experts. <laughs> we hope you've had fun, and we hope that you're doing well this holiday season. Stay well. Bye! Bye.